Welcome back to Into the Light, a different life story. Today, 10 points in 10 minutes with Nate Jukes. Yeah, I'm very excited to be here. Uh, my, the first point that I have is that this is something that you need to understand if you're ready to make some changes in your life, that progress looks different on everyone. So don't give up on the person that you are becoming. In this uh, comparison lifestyle that we've created with an online experience with Instagram, Facebook, our social media, it's so easy to look at somebody else's progress and say, that's where I should be. Progress looks different on everyone. So don't give up on who you are becoming. Point number two, nothing can be changed until it is faced. Too many times we want to change things in our life without actually doing a deep dive to look our fears in the face. So I just want to encourage you, if there's something you've been running from, there's something you are avoiding. If there's something that you've turned your back on, today is the day that we say enough no more. I'm looking you in the face. I'm looking me in the face. I'm taking an issue and looking straight at it and saying today is the day it changes. Point number three, there are people from your past who know a version of you that no longer exists anymore. And that is okay. We cannot blame them for that. There are people from your past who know an old you, who know a version of you that doesn't operate, doesn't think, doesn't behave the same way anymore. And that's okay. We can't blame them for thinking that way. We actually gave them the reason to think the way that they do. So knowing that, just understand, not everybody's going to know where you're at right now. Not everybody's going to see the changes. Not everybody's going to believe in you the same way that you believe in you. And that is okay. Point number four, not everything that feels good in the moment is good for your future. Too many times we get caught up in this instant gratification mindset where I have to feel good right now. And trust me, I understand. I fall victim to it all of the time. I just want to encourage you right now in this moment. Let's not live for a right now mentality, but let's think of what our future self needs the most. Because what feels good right now might not always be what's going to be best for us in the future. Point number five, who you were is not who you are. You have made some decisions to be a different person. So please understand that that version of you does not have to haunt you. That past life is not your life. Who you were is not who you are today. So that means we can take off some of the old clothes. We can take off some of the old baggage. We can take off some of the old shame, the, the things that have been holding us back. We get to put on the new clothes. We get to put on the new face. We get to put on the new us because we are not the same person that we used to be. Point number six, selfish people ruin the world. Selfless people can change the world. If you are stuck in this selfish mindset that says, I have to be the one that achieves it all, I have to be the one that has everything, I'm here to tell you, you are part of the problem. If you would like to be a part of the solution, learn to say, how can I help other people more than I can help myself? You know what I've found is that as I help others, as I do more for anybody else than I would ever do for myself, I find that my world actually gets better. My needs are met. I am actually becoming better and having a better life because I am more focused on others than I am myself. The next point, the right voices in your life equal the right choices in your life. If you are constantly finding yourself making the wrong decision, if you are finding yourself getting around a group of people who you become a different person, it is time to change the voices in your life. It is time to surround yourself with new people. Because if I want new choices, I need to get new voices. I'm constantly being influenced by those around me. So I am selective with who I let in my life. The next point, you're responsible for doing the right thing, not how people respond to it. Too many times I will get caught up in this place where I think that I have to do this so that I will get a result from somebody else. I will get a response from somebody else. 
I am not responsible for anybody else but me. The only thing that I can do is make sure that my side of the street is clean. The next point, gratitude reminds us that what we have right now is enough, but more importantly, that we are enough. I'm here to tell you, you are enough. Everything that you need to change is already inside of you, but it doesn't matter what I think about you. It matters what you think about you. Gratitude is a undervalued superpower that gives us access to a new state of being. If you want to feel more alive, if you want to feel like you have more contribution, if you want to feel like there's more peace in your life, practice gratitude. And my last point is that success is not a reward. It's actually a responsibility. So we don't actually chase success because we want to get things. When we get successful, when we've gone to a new level in life, it's actually more for us to do. The work is just beginning when you start to experience success. So don't look at it as like, oh, now I have new things. I have new status. I have new, a new lifestyle. You will quickly lose it if you think of it as a reward. But if you want to sustain your success, if you want to sustain where you're at, look at it as a responsibility to continue moving forward, things that I have to steward really well, and you will be given more. That's my time. Those are my points. Thank you so much. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> to the point, eloquent, beautifully delivered, and highly, highly important messages, each and every single one of them. Nate, I'm so, so grateful and humbled that you came back onto my show and shared that beautiful wisdom. You guys out there, look after yourself. Lift this life that you can do. Guys, there is, you can do it. Nate has done it. I have done it. Let's change our lives. Look after yourself. Bye. <music>